Folks, thanks for joining us today. My name is John Dubas with Premier Marketing, and we'll be spending the next mm, hour or so discussing one of our key partners in an effort to help you maximize your Medicare marketing. So we asked our friends with Aetna Senior Supplemental to come on and give us the details about their portfolio and the support systems they have to help us be as successful as possible now and through the end of the year, including the open enrollment period. You'll notice that the software system has a section for both questions and chat. We ask that you put your questions in the questions section. Um, we do normally cover them through the course of the presentation, but we wanna make certain that you get full value out of today's presentation and answer any uh, concerns or questions that you may have. Today's presentation is being recorded and it will be made available on our website at premiersmi.com. We'll discuss specifics in a minute and on our YouTube channel as well. But we'll start out with a little bit of a level set since we reach out to agents that are familiar with us and some that are new to us or haven't heard of us in the past. And so a bit of level set about Premier Marketing. We are a national marketing organization that's part of the Integrity Marketing Platform with offices across the country. We're licensed in all 50 states. We act as an insurance wholesaler working with independent insurance agents such as yourself through contracts that are at the highest possible commission levels with recruiting contracts available to those who qualify. And we do so through a full portfolio of products that include the Medicare programs, the Medicare Advantage, MedSup, PDP programs, but also a full portfolio of life insurance and annuity products, including final expense life insurance and free need plans, long and short term care programs with disability income plans as well and those ancillary benefits that are so important to cover specific needs of your prospects and clients, including dental vision hearing programs, critical illness cancer plans, hospital indemnity programs, accident plans, and even a telehealth program. The Medicare Advantage programs include all the national carriers and many of the strong regionals that are important for you in your market. And that same philosophy carries over into the prescription drug programs where they're available to you as well. You'll notice that all of these are part generally of the Medicare Advantage contract with the exception of the Mutual of Omaha program, which is specific to their PDP programs. And the Clever RX program is actually a discount program. When you look at Medicare supplements, a very robust portfolio of programs with different marketing assistance programs to help you be successful in that space. We wanna make certain that you're able to take care of the entire Medicare population with all the products that aim at their base coverages. When we look at ancillary products, you have the leaders in each of these categories. And though it's alphabetically set, you'll notice that Aetna is at the top of the list in each of these areas. So when we speak of the Medicare market, we have that burgeoning uh, Medicare population through the silver tsunami, the aging of the baby boomers, one every 10 seconds, 10,000 plus a day, tempered a bit by some of the folks that are accessing their benefits later than age 65 when they're first eligible for one reason or another, but it also includes that portion of the Medicare population that's under the age of 65 accessing their benefits because of medical disability. So it's a huge market, obviously, but the products that we speak to today will help you regardless of the choice that the people make. If they're staying in original Medicare, picking up just a Part D program, if that, or if they're picking up a standardized Medicare, Medicare supplement, modernized Medigap policy or going for the bundling in the all-in-one Medicare Advantage programs. We wanna make certain that we're able to help them regardless of their choices, because it's been a pretty even split between MA and PDP. Oops, make that MA and MedSup. And it's been pretty constant through the last couple of years, you're seeing a surge in the MA products, but the MedSups have to be part of your portfolio if you're do doing this population, and making certain that you're accommodating all the needs. And since I've been using a lot of acronyms, let's talk about that. We have a guide here for you off of the CMS website to make certain that you are communicating to your prospects and clients in the language they understand. And that includes 4,420 acronyms defined in this particular guide. It tells us to make certain that we define them and minimize their use in order to make certain that we're communicating properly. When we look at the different election periods, there's a lot of talk already about 2023 benefits because of the sneak peeks and all the detail that you have on MME and PDP programs. But we need to realize that 
you have SEPs, special election periods that can help you with these programs throughout the year and the special special election periods that can help you as well. But it's important to note that the products that we talk about today aren't subject to lock in. And they actually have a little bit of a, a leniency in some states that can help you market throughout the year. And that's important because folks aren't doing a year to year uh, comparison as they should, regardless of their base program, or if it's just a drug program, or if they're looking at perhaps some of the, the information that's made out for them through Medicare's resources, all these different things aren't being used. And so we need to make certain that we partner with an organization and you partner with a marketing organization that gives you the capability of working in person or virtually or a combination thereof. And so that's one of the reasons why we look at many of the partners such as Aetna that give us that flexibility to do so because the population's been trained to do so. Doctors, specialists, hospitals, dentists, churches, faith-based organizations, they're training the population to be amenable to this type of delivery. And so we wanna make certain that we're maximizing the time we have available. So we've asked our friends at Aetna to help us and we're privileged today to have our longtime friend, Justine Sawyers, come with us and speak to us about the possibilities we have of maximizing our benefits that we're able to discuss through the use of Aetna Senior Supplemental Products. So at this time, I'm gonna turn control of the presentation over to Justine. And thank you, Justine, for coming on. And you now can share your screen and we're ready to go. Okay, hi, I appreciate you giving me, make sure, can you see my screen now? Yep, absolutely, looks great. Perfect. Thank you, John. I appreciate the warm welcoming. I hope everyone can hear me. I've lost my voice over the weekend, but I'm pushing through and um, I, I actually would not miss this. So um, I'm glad that you guys have joined me and I'm not going to take too much time going a little bit about Aetna. John did a great job. Um, just I'm going to be doing some highlights of why Aetna. So, um, I've been in the industry, let's say I've almost grandfathered, but from the days of being green till today, I've seen Medicare benefits get cut back and cut back. So like newsflash, if you haven't heard, Medicare is getting top heavy. And in order to attempt to stay afloat, Medicare is starting to have to look like Swiss cheese. At least that's what I think it looks like because of what once was covered is no longer covered. And that's actually what drew me to Aetna was those hole pluggers. So, you know, it, you always want to know what you have in your report, or at least you want to make sure you have a plush portfolio because, um, you know, there's not a one size fits all. And, you know, just as this says, you know, you got to keep motivated, you got to continue learning or you'll be left behind. Because um, like, obviously, the more you know about your products, the easier it's going to be for your rebuttals and how to make those policies stick. Because a happy client refers, and we know referrals are the best prospects you can find. So, um, again, why Aetna? Well, you know, what drove me to it was the 18 to 89. Wow. <laughs> means like anybody could be a prospect. Uh, we have a plush portfolio. I mean, you can see right here that um, we have great door openers. That was like the biggest thing is I've been on the agency side and I've been in the field. I've done. I've done, I've done it. <laughs> I've done the the groundbreaking, you know, like uh, grassroots marketing, and that's what I saw with these plans was lead generators. Because you know, anyone can be a prospect. You don't require any certification. So hey, that's one less thing to be nagged on. <laughs> no scope required. So that means you know you can cold call if you wanted to. You know, actually during COVID, we had record breaking sales because a lot of people transitioned from being in the field to just cold calling. And, um, you know, if you do not tell your clients that you are able to sell other types of products, they're going to probably get that that telephone call from a 
you know, telemarketing center telling them about it. So you might as well just plant that into their ear, even though they're not there to hear about it right then and there, but you've planted the seed. And that way they'll know that they can always come back to you. As you can see, we have lifetime renewals, bonus incentives. That was one, I really liked that. That's why I have that little tropical thing up there because we have the rewards your way. So you can pick wherever you want, but hey, I'm not gonna st steal my um, limelight later. <laughs> so I'll touch on that later. Um, again, we have easy, why well, I just say again, easy e-app. So we have also pre-recorded trading. So today I'm just going to hit highlights. I'm just going to try to tease you about these products and hope that you take time a little bit later to dig a little bit deeper. Because again, the more you know, the more you're going to earn. So uh, we have alert settings so that you can go about your day and we'll uh, notify you if there's any issues or hey, the app's gone through. Um, so, I mean, we make sure everything's at your fingertips. Um, let's see, did I miss anything? No, you can write. Okay, next slide. So I'm pointing this out. Yes, we're at Aetna, we're based in Nashville, and I'm doing this because we're separate from the Medicare Advantage side. Uh, we, we've been in the industry for, I think, like 39 years. It's on the senior market. Don't, don't get me on Aetna. They've been around since the 1800s. But yes, on the senior side, we've been around for a while. Um, so the reason I point that out is you don't go um, to the, the enrollment platforms that you would do for the Part D side or the Part C side. Uh, we go to aetnaseniorproducts.com and that's where you can do everything. A matter of fact, that's the same place that your, your clients can go to if they're internet savvy or if they have someone who can help them with it. They can log in and they can manage their own membership. Like say they misplaced their member cards. They can go in there, reorder them or take a snapshot of it. So um, even check on claims. So, I mean, we make it to where it's very user friendly for them. And then you can see that we also have it for providers providers and that's where they're going to go to verify that this is a member. Um, you can see on the right hand side that's where I put um, you know where if you haven't registered with us before you'll have to do so but once you um, are you'll be signing in with your writing number most likely it'll start with a G G N W. Okay moving forward because we got a lot to talk about. Okay I refer this to as our resume. You can see where we've been and where we're going right so um, we originally were Continental Life. They were you know, doing a great job. Aetna purchased them. Aetna's doing a great job. And you know, just like most acquisitions, a company buys a comp another company, they, they want their stamp on it. So that's my two cents on how to explain to Sendo. The Sendo is not replacing what we have. It's just an addition to. Um, I would say quote your clients on both products. So we have a Aetna and Ascendo Medicare Supplement, and we also have an Aetna and Ascendo Final Expense. They're both designed a little differently, underwriting exactly the same. So I'd say just quote both and see which one's the best fit for your client. Okay, so as you can see that plush portfolio, this is kind of the bird's eye view of where it's available. So if you have a license in multiple states, you can see what we have in that um, state. Now, just because it might have an empty box does not mean it won't change later down the road. Unlike our um, Advantage, uh, Medicare Advantage or Part D, we are not by the January through December. We're, you know, we have no timeline really. So it's like year-round enrollments. My God, I need to update that slide. Year-round enrollments too. So, um, because we don't do drugs. That's pretty much what it is. <laughs> you can enroll any of these products year-round, um, but just because there's a little empty square, don't assume it won't be approved. It just means we filed it. We're waiting for the state to um, agree to it. Just like, um, I'll throw this out there, New Jersey, as of recently, I think that's why we updated it in July, is they said, hey, yeah, we, we think hearing and vision's also important. You know, it used to be dental only, so now it's the whole package. So again, just because it's not there now, don't think it won't be there later, but you can always go to your agent portal, go to that state and it'll automatically populate what's in that availability. So we will be sending this out to you and you can click on that link and I'll take you there. And um, again, uh, you know, again, it's year round selling. So today um, that sheet that you just saw, uh, if you've ever been to any of the uh, meetings or whatnot, it's a back and forth uh, flyer. So 
this right here, I still have this above my, my laptop. So it's just a quick reference. Um, I, I mean, I utilized this so much when I first started because I blindly came to Aetna. All I saw were hole pluggers and I was mesmerized. I've been out in the field, I've done ACA, and that's the part is trying to get those leads. I mean, you you could door knock with these plants. I mean, Grant, I don't know we want to do that these days, but that's how easy it is. Uh, you couldn't, you know, ask anybody, 18 to 89. They don't have to have Medicare to have these products. The only one they have to have Medicare for is obviously MedSop. So anyone is a prospect. Now I put little arrows on there to show you which plans I was going to be covering today. And you can always, and stealing my limelight, <laughs> um, I'll have a slide a little bit later where I'm going to focus on um, our, our training. So you can always go in it's 24 seven, our pre-recorded webinars are always available, but you can go into each product if you wanna go into the weeds. Today, we're doing bird's eye view, we're not digging too deep because there's just a lot to know, but don't worry about that. I mean, when I first started selling, I'd never had a sales job at before. I just started selling in my first month, I did 206% of my quota. Granted, they never treated me the same after that, but it was because I was resourceful, not because I was seasoned, I was resourceful. So at least if you know these are there, you can always go back to it. But it's biggest thing is planting the seed with your client. You want to be their go-to person because you know the more plans you have with them, the less likely they're going to go to somebody else. Nobody wants to upheave everything. No, I got a guy or I got a gal. <laughs> okay, so I also wanted to point out the recovery care. We just updated that. So if you have any hard sales materials, um, the flyer or the brochure is going to be outdated because it's no longer going to say 300, it's going to say 400. So you asked, we delivered, we added more to it. So, okay, moving forward. Uh, cancer series, heart attack or stroke. Um, so this right here, a lot of people don't realize, uh, well, they do. Okay, I've still my life. <laughs> I'll just start off from the, the, sorry, a little bit hoarse here, but needs analysis. Again, those planting those seeds. I'll steal my limelight later on it. So sample dialogue questions you always want to ask your client. Again, planting those seeds. Like, do they know anyone who's had cancer or does their client have a heart attack or stroke plan? You know, a lot of people don't really think about it and try to avoid the, the negative things in life, but, you know, not until they slap you in the face. Well, unfortunately, these are things that, you know, Life happens. You, you don't ex you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, but the risks are real. So right here, you could see how cancer is the second most common cause of death, or how heart attack is the number one cause in the United States. Or you know, like what got me is I actually bought this shortly after starting because I stared at these statistics and thought about my own family. Forty one percent of men and thirty eight percent of women will be diagnosed during their lifetimes. You know, and then you can see on the heart attack, of those 720,000 Americans who had their heart attack, that was their first one. 72% were the first one. Or the stroke, it's a third leading cause of death in women and fifth in men. Now, a lot of people don't realize, but, you know, until again, it slaps you in the face, but recovery is a lifetime progress. I remember when my grandfather had his heart attack and then he had a stroke, he had to live the rest of his life in a wheelchair. I mean, he lost the whole side of his his body. So, um, and unfortunately, it was his dominant hand he lost, con he couldn't write with. So, I mean, again, lifetime processes. So, again, 18 to 89, man, <clears throat> push my voice a little harder. <laughs> but the policy can be as little as $5,000 or up to 75. Now, I maxed mine out and I got that reoccurrence. So, as you can see, these policies can be just the policy or you can get it with the reoccurrence. Now it's kind of one of those things where you can do cancer or you can do heart attack or stroke. But a lot of our top producers and statistics show that if someone goes through cancer treatment, they their heart is a little bit weakened, their internals are a little weakened, and they're more likely to have a heart attack or stroke. So as our top producers always do, they always make sure that they at least have some portion. So they may do like say $40,000 of cancer for their client, but they want to make sure they at least do 20 for the heart attack or stroke. So that way they have some cushion and you can do the reoccurrence. So it's like, you know, you got two policies in one. Um, now under the cancer, it is on the first diagnosis. 
the only cancer we don't recognize is basal cell because it's like on the skin, it can be cut off and it's gone. It does not spread. Now there are those rogue rare cases where it does and that's gonna be looked at differently. And it, I've seen it done differently, it depends. But again, most likely it's cut off, it's gone. Um, again, a uh, heart attack is the same thing in first diagnosis. Um, coverage options, you can look at the individual, individual and spouse or domestic partner, uh, individual and the children or the whole family. Now, we don't count each person. Um, so like the doctors would be doing great, you know, all their kids, because each person gets their own amount. Um, now, if you had a partner, uh, it's always going to go by the youngest person. So let's say she is 65 and she married a 45-year-old. Uh, it's going to go under the 45-year-old. And as I mentioned, each person gets their own benefit and it's paid directly to the policyholder or beneficiary. So if they want us to pay a facility, great. If they want to do whatever they want or seek alternative treatment, the money is theirs to use. There is a 30-day waiting period because, you know, obviously if it was shorter, you know, something might have already been known. <laughs> but it is um, after that, they're good. You can submit multiple applications. I've seen one agent do three because uh, she did 25 on her husband. Two days later, did another 25. And then over the weekend, her and her husband thought about it and they maxed it out. That's fine as long as it's not over 75,000. and. <clears throat> No additional premium for tobacco users. Hello. <laughs> it is uh, issued age. So um, you can tell your clients it's not going to be any cheaper than it is today because, you know, like I submitted this two days before my birthday because I looked at it. Hey, if I wait, it's $12 more a month. Nah, I went ahead and did it. So I'm locked into that rate. It won't go up due to any claims or um, that I file or my health but uh, it's, it's locked in at that amount. Okay, so moving forward, the Protection Series Hospital Indemnity Flex is ideal for those who want to um, find those uh, co-pays for those um, like Medicare Advantage plans. But what you always wanna do is start asking your client questions to get them thinking about it. And you know, um, like, <clears throat> it's like, uh, like what financial risks do you have with your hospital co-pays or deductibles? You know, this insurance may help for those out-of-pocket out costs associated with your current medical coverage. So a lot of um, Medicare uh, beneficiaries, when they look at Medicare Advantage plans, they see those hospital co-pays and it's like, oh my gosh, I have to pay that each day? You want to say, yeah, it's cheaper than paying outright. <laughs> but no, seriously, it's, you know, they this way, if they have something in place, if they can't afford a Medicare Advantage or Medicare supplement, they can get a Medicare Advantage plan and get one of these to help co uh, help with those co-pays. So, you know, they may not be able to afford over $100. Well, maybe they can do the 30. So um, anyway. So, as I mentioned before, 1889, anybody can be a, a prospect. Uh, so, this plan has the ability to be, um, so we have an either or. It's the hospital admission indemnity or the daily. So, it's like either lump sum or per day. So, there's only two options there. Um, within those, you can add riders. So, the riders you can see is skilled nursing facility care, doctor's office visit, outpatient surgical procedure, emergency room or ambulance, even um, associated with cancer diagnosis or outpatient rehab. Now, I would suggest even that we have this cancer as a rider, our riders kind of go through our original cancer plan. So the cancer look back will be 10 years. If you have a client that might've been in year eight, get them a separate policy. And you know what, actually make it a separate policy, no matter if they've had cancer or not more policies the stickier they get. Plus, you know, things change in the future and they may have to cancel this plan. Well, they'll still keep your cancer and heart attack or stroke. So, you know, make sure you keep those separate. Um, our e-app is so smooth, um, streamlined that it won't even be noticed. You, you ask them their information once, you ask for their EFT once, and if there's an additional question for that policy, it'll be combined in the ones you do ask. So again, it's smooth. Um, we also have the outpatient rehab. Now, yeah, as I'm say, the um, I wanted to mention the doctor's office visit. It's up to $60. So in essence, it could pay for itself, right? <laughs> 
Okay. Now, um, due to limited time, I've tried to do a snapshot of everything. Again, if you want more thorough training, we have those recorded webinars available 24 seven, or you can register for a live one. Uh, our uh, hospital indemnity has no height or weight chart. Uh, again, it's the easy app where you can just do the signature questions. Um, it pays the outpatient. It, we cover the observation. So that right there is that whole plugger where Medicare used to, and now they're not. Well, our plans do acknowledge observation stays. And, you know, you can see, look, this plan does not, um, won't cancel due to their age. It will not increase. So, I mean, these are locked in at that rate. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> um, again, so uh, as I mentioned, you have an option lump sum or you have an option of daily. And you can see option one, they do up to $2,500. It counts the observation stays. There's a period of care every 60 days, so it'll renew itself. If they go for option two, you can see it goes pays up to $700 per day. Uh, observation, if they're less than 24 hours, it will count it as 50% of the daily benefit, but it counts, man. It counts, especially if they have to, oh God, I'm already cross-selling. I was like, especially if they have to go to recovery care. <laughs> Again, that's our whole plugger. Um, they can choose days um, three to 10 to 20. I mean, you can play with our mobile quoting app and just toggle it. That way you don't have to log in. If you just want to do a quick quote, you can do that. So. Okay, that was enough of that one. Again, if you want to hear more, you can always log into our 24-7 webinars. Uh, our next uh, two plans, I kind of grouped it in this slide because we have our dental vision and hearing, and then we have, you've asked, we revamped it, and that's where we got our dental vision and hearing plus. So with both of these same questions, you're always going to ask your clients, you know, like, Who's your dental coverage with today? Or do you wear glasses, contact hearing, or a hearing aid? Um, or, you know, you just ask them, you know, what do you like about your current coverage? Which, you know, again, that can be with any plan. And, you know, what don't you like? So those things you can help guide them and stress how this plan is a good fit for them. Um, you know, I used to, I was never a hard pusher on my sales. I was a soft sell. I made them kind of chase me. And that way I had really, very little overturn because they wanted it. I just pointed out where they stressed their needs were and I, I stressed how these plans could fit. So it's kind of like, yes, I need that. <laughs> but again, just plant those seeds, they'll come back. Uh, this is from our pace setter. Uh, we send out this monthly and it's kind of little um, pep talks, a uh, little, you know, uh, focal points on different people or how to um, focus on certain plans. And so Scott Root, he's the one that also helped us with this uh, dental vision and hearing designing. Um, and so he wanted to show, because everyone's curious, what's the difference between the two? Well, our original DVH plan is more price sensitive. So if someone just wants something for maintenance, you know, and if I need something, I've got a plan to cover it. That's what that one's really for. It's designed for, you know, they stay in the network. Um, they don't need any major work um, until like, you know, maybe next year. So again, it's just for the routine cleanings, examinations and still in place if they go, hey, I need a filling. Now, if they know they need work done, um, then that would be our plus because that's going to allow them to get major work done immediately. No waiting period. That's the biggest thing there. And it comes with a higher maximum allowance. Uh, you know, both plans, you can stay in network, you can go out of network. I will say the way these plans work is if you go to your dentist that doesn't want to join the network, that's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Um, they want to charge $200 for procedure. However, the dentist that's like, say, across the street in the neighborhood that's in the network that is a preferred provider charges 100. Now, the patient would be responsible for that remaining balance of $100. So it does pay what's reasonable and customary. So it does allow them to go out of network. But again, you know, it is kind of capped, but it goes by service area. So it's not like we're going to reimburse. Um, like if you're from the Dallas area, I always think of Highland Park, it's the hoity-toity area. We're not going to reimburse them what we would pay some tiny little town in Texas because the cost of living is different, you know, and so we want to make sure we have a plush portfolio, so we reimburse just to accordingly. But moving forward, 
just to let you know what the difference on the two. Here's also an internal cheat sheet <laughs> that I figure, hey, why don't we use this? This way you can see in red what the differences were. So again, this is, I'm trying to give you the bird's eye view before I dig a little dip deeper, but our plan, our DVH plan only goes up to $2,000 versus our plus goes up to 3,000. I will say, if your client is on one of these plans and they they utilize their allowance, the plan kind of turns into like a discount plan where they can get that work done at the contracted rate, you know, so they'll just have to pay what we typically would have split with them, but they still can get that work done. Um, same thing you know, applies if they like were under our traditional DVH plan and needed that more expensive stuff like class C, it's going to be the same thing. They can pay that negotiated rate. Once they hit their um, waiting period, we'll split this with them. But again, I'm just giving you a snapshot. You can see what the differences are. Uh, so I will move forward. You'll, you'll have this. John's wonderful about making sure. He, he's like me. He's an information hoarder. <laughs> so the way we've, we've um, grouped all the um, procedures with dental. A is just preventive. It's the examination, the, um, you know, something you do twice a year. Now let's say you go in there and you get that cleaning and then they say, oh, we need a filling. Well, that's gonna be class B. So that's more of the sim simple intermediate care. Um, now, if you look at C, that's where it's more of these surgical procedures, the inlays, onlays, crowns, missing tooths. Oh my, it's gonna require general anesthesia. Now with me, I'm such a wuss, I'd be asking and begging and demanding for general anesthesia for class B. <laughs> they even have to numb me for class A because I got sensitive teeth. So anyway, the point you're seeing right here is that we just try to um, classify them and that way if it's more invasive, you know what it's going to be. Okay, so uh, here's some of the weeds. The eldest person will be primary. Unlike our cancer, heart attack, or stroke, where it's the younger, this is the older person. Um, unlike all of our other plans, the DVH plans are the only ones that are guaranteed acceptance. We don't ask any health questions. They're, you know, we just take the app, tell us when you want to effect it. And you know, the thing about all of our plans, if they want today as their effective date, ask for it. Just submit it as an e-app, ask for today's date. Now, the only thing I would say is don't do like towards the end of the month, like the last two days, three days, because the EFT system may pull two months. We'll make it right, but you just want your client to have a heads up. But hey, you know, I understand if you've got a, a tooth issue and you want to go see the dentist today, well, this is the best way to do it. Even if it was on the 30th or the 31st, just make sure you, you know, ask for same day. Um, is you can see it goes as little as a thousand up to two thousand. Now it's for each person. So if it's a family plan, each person's going to get that amount, but that also means each person's going to have their own deductible. So it is one hundred dollars per person per policy year. So um, and <laughs> that doesn't apply towards the preventive. Uh, we've already mentioned the freedom to choose, and if you stick with the preferred provider. There's, they stretch it out that allowance a lot further and that way they don't have to you know pay out of pocket as much so class a and b as i mentioned before is the um, preventive and the simple pr procedures and after they pay their 100 dollars deductible the plan will pay 60 percent that year of the fee now once they've hit their anniversary date so if you have a client that you enrolled last year september 1st and then here we roll into this September 1st. They're now technically in their second year, so the plan will pay 70%. Once they hit their third year, so remember it's not full years, just once they hit that anniversary date, the plan will pay 80%. Again, this is non-surgical, but we do count the emergency palliative treatment if that's necessary. Now, after the 12 months, and if they have not applied their deductible yet, that's when they will do it. So it's only one time. They don't have to do it every time. Um, and that's per person per policy year. I swear, it's like at the end of every trading, I'm always, is that per person? <laughs> um, class C does, again, you know, the uh, bridges, clowns, of uh, clowns, <laughs> that's how I feel right now. Crowns, full and partial dentures. Now, um, now they, again, it's vision and hearing. So um, on the vision after six months, and if they have not already paid that $100, they will do it now. Or let's just say it's a new policy year and they went and saw their, their uh, vision benefits first. 
then they went to go to their dental. They don't have to do it dental because guess what? One time for policy year. Okay, so this one here on the in the first year pays 60% on their anniversary date. It'll pay 70% on their third anniversary date. It'll pay 80%. It pays up to $200 in each two policy years for their eye exams, eyeglasses, or contact lenses. The hearing side is covered after 12 months. And after that deductible, again, we were in a classroom, we go, win. <laughs> They're $100 per person per policy year. If it's already been applied, it does not apply here. The plan will pay 70% on their anniversary date of year two, 80% on year three. It will pay $500 any one policy year for the hearing exams and the hearing aids. Ooh, see, no, no, it's easy, right? <laughs> so the hearing plus is, as I mentioned before, you asked, we delivered. So um, this one's pretty much uh, kind of symmetrical to the last one, but no guaranteed acceptance, no health questions. The primary applicant will be the policyholder. And I'm gonna tell you, your client will get two cards. One will say this is insurance and the other will say it's a discount. The discount's supposed to be applied for the hearing and vision. Now the actual card will have the primary's name on it. It won't have everybody in the family on it. It just has the primary. But if the provider goes to the etnaseniorproducts.com, types in um, that I, the uh, name and the member number, they'll see that person is covered. Um, so again, this one has $100 per person per policy year because each person gets their own amount. So if that family got that $3,000, they are all going to get $3,000. But they're all going to have their own deductible too. They still have the freedom to choose any provider, which we have a landing page that can do all that work for you. And again, I won't steal my thunder. I'll do it in a few. <laughs> Class A is still the same. You remember preventive examinations. Class C, this is where we, you know, again, we have no waiting periods. But um, Class C is where the actual deductible has to be used. So this one did waive the $100 deductible for cleanings. Because a lot of people were like, well, I don't want to go to the dentist just for cleaning. I have to pay $100. Fine. You know, whatever makes the client happy, right? So we made it to where it's on if they need work done. So if while they're in their cleaning and see that there's a filling that needs to be um, filled, that's when they're going to have to do it now. The first year, the plan will pay 65% of the cost. On the anniversary date, it'll pay 80. For Class C, which is those major things, remember that's where something may require anesthesia. And I'm like, yep, sign me up. <laughs> um, the first year, it will pay 20%. Now, it's not going to pay as heavy as the standard one, but the standard one also made them wait a whole year. So this way, you know, they can still get it done. It's still at the contracted rate. And on their anniversary date, then it goes to 50%. Now, you asked, we delivered, hello, at the very bottom, you see those implants? Maybe I'll do that in red next time. <laughs> but $1,500 lifetime max. Now, I know that's not a lot for implants, but we've already negotiated, so it's on the fee schedule. That is like the hugest thing. I know my mom, I joke that I, I don't have a new car. My newest car is a 2011 is because my mom's walking around with my new car. Implants are not cheap, but this way they don't have to haggle. I had to haggle. So again, you know, implants are covered. It does only cover 15, but the rest can be um, at the reasonable customary because um, we're bringing the business to them, right? So they negotiate great rates. Okay, so another thing that was asked orthodontics so we added that too and it's after the deductible but if it's already been paid for they don't have to pay that additional deductible it's one per policy year per person so after 12 months the waiting period the plan will pay 50 percent that's on the anniversary date and it does have a lifetime max of 1500 but it's on the fee schedule <laughs> it's capped um, it also counts clear aligners and there's a 750 lifetime max but again it's on the fee schedule that's the biggest thing is you don't have to negotiate you're getting the weight of everyone's discount okay <clears throat> try not to cough on you <laughs> um, vision coverage covered after six months and after that deductible, if not already taken care of, um, plan pays 65% the first year. On the anniversary date, it pays 80%. 
It pays up to $200 during any two policy years, and that's for the eye exams, the eyeglasses, the contact lenses. Okay, where am I? Where's my mouth? I just lost it. <laughs> Hearing, uh, we're almost done, guys. Stick with me. <laughs> Hearing coverage, um, hopefully you can hear me, covered after 12 months and after that deductible, if not already taken care of. The plan will pay 80% on the second year. It pays up to $500 during any one policy year for the hearing exams and hearing aids. Now, as I mentioned before, where do you find these dentists? How do I find this? You know, we've got a landing page for it. So you, you can go to your agent portal, you click, click on this, or you know, you know, just keep this uh, training presentation in your, your mailbox. And if you're talking to clients, just type in that and they'll pull it up, click, there we go. Um, so once you're there, see if you look on the left-hand side, there's those two cards. One's kind of green, those green stripes, and then the one that says Aetna, those are those two cards I was mentioning earlier. Uh, if you look at the bottom of the screen, the dental savings example. So that's where we're showing that if um, your client had a crown, the retail is like $1,200 for it, but with the in-network discount is $561. So um, Right there, you can see it's already cut it down to 639. So from the 639, when you take, you know, dividing between what we're spending and what the client is spending, their patient is paying $315.60. So you can see how they really negotiated it from 1200 to 31560. Now let's apply what I mentioned earlier. If they utilize their allowance or they cannot wait a waiting period, well, we'll just go to where it says allowed. So that crown, if they really, really needed it and they were on the DVH and hadn't been there, uh, had the plan for a year, their cost would be 639, but you can still see they saved $561. On the right-hand side, that's a provider search. That's where you can type in what type of provider they want. You can type in even a name. If they have a certain dentist or have a certain person in, in mind, you can type it in there and it'll tell you. We're using the Carrington Network, which is the largest in the nation, so most likely they're there. Now, the downside, it only displays 100 providers at a time. I've asked if we can increase that, but you know they say then we have to kind of <laughs> change the software. If they need more, tell them to change the zip code or city, so there you go. But believe me, it's the largest dental network in the nation, the largest carrier. I think it's, we're using uh, IMED, PulsePsych, and uh, oh, there's one more. But anyways, they're all listed there. Um, makes it real easy for you. So if your client doesn't even have the one in mind, this way you can go, all these, these providers are gonna help you save some more money. And you know what, I'll also add, I've had where a provider kept telling the client and then the agent, no, this is not a member. They're not a member, they're not a member. I get on the phone with them and go, okay, let's go to ednaseniorproducts.com, click on the provider, click right here, da, da, da. And they're like, oh, wow. Well, you know what? We actually are part of QualSight and we're part of IMED. So we're going to see which one's a better fit for your, the, the patient. I have to remember what, how we're referring it to. But yeah, the, the provider belonged to two different groups. So they were able to figure out what would be a better savings for that patient. So there's a lot of wiggle room. And so this way, you know, they can figure out what, you know, saves them the most. So this is, again, this is something you can click on. It's going to take you directly to the agent portal <clears throat> and show you um, that map I showed you earlier where it shows you all the states. Uh, I just kind of wanted to show you up front, but this right here will just take you a quick snap there, like a shortcut. Okay, so pre-recorded webinars, as I mentioned, are 24-7. So you can just go to your agent portal, you go down training, go down to webinars, and then right there where you can see on the left-hand side all those little red boxes, those are pre-recorded. Tori, which if you look on the right-hand side, she did a great job. She sticks to the script. I don't know how to, <laughs> but she does. Um, and you can download these presentations. Now, this gets you into the weeds. Today, I just kind of gave you the bird's eye view, just to tease you just a little bit. Um, but right here, this is where you can go into more depth. You can also register for live webinars too. Now, we do have online tools available to you. You can always use your quotes on the go. I, I alluded to it earlier where it's real quick. I mean, it's so easy. You could be flying down the freeway doing a quote. 
I wouldn't suggest that, but it's that easy. Literally, it is that easy. Because what you're going to do is just type in the criteria. You're not having to log in. You're not having to make sure, am I got Wi-Fi? No, this is directly from your phone or your smart app. Uh, if you have like a, a tablet, you just go to your app store. You can download um, from uh, App Store or Google Play quotes on the go you don't even have to type etna and i it kind of looks a little different now we just recently updated this like a week or two ago maybe a week i was traveling the last two weeks so i haven't had a chance to update this but it's the same thing looks just the same it's just you know or i say has the same information they just made it you know brighter i think anyways you can do multiple products at once you can even do annually it'll even let you do two people at a time now i suggest if you're trying to do a quick quote, don't put the date of birth because <laughs> that's where it just takes too much time. Just put the age, especially if you have someone who's turning 65 and you're going to do a app for a T65. Don't do their date of birth. The system ain't that smart. It's going to go, oh, okay, for a 64-year-old. No, no, not today. <laughs> Later. So just put the age. It's going to make it so much easier. Uh, and then you're good to go, right? Okay, so I understand that you guys also have the Medicare Center that you have through Premier, but this is an alternative. Um, you can also use the Aetna Quote and Enroll. Um, we do multiple products at the same time. You can play with the sandbox if you want to get more familiar with it. We have the underwriting, which is an automated. Um, there's multiple signature options where you can just say, hey, what's um, what's your mother's maiden name? I wouldn't say hey. <laughs> you just say, what's your mother's maiden name? And that would be your signature. Um, but again, the sandbox is there. You can always play with it. Now, um, things to remember, if anything ever happens to your data, please let us know so we can protect you. And most importantly, the client. You can call 1-800-682-3213. And that way we can make sure we we follow the proper steps. So we're always here to help. We have an email available. So if you've got a busy day and you just have like a question, issue, whatever, you can email us. And, you know, depending if you're like in Rhode Island, not, not my territory. So off the top of my head, I don't know what's in Rhode Island. But if you had questions specifically about Rhode Island, they will deviate to my counterpart or they'll answer the question, whatever. I mean, you can always use that. We also have live chat. So once you're in the portal, and even your clients, if they're in their member portal, we have a chat for them too. So if they have a quick question, the chat is monitored by our seasoned employees. Um, we also have the telephone number where you can call us. Now, I admit um, we do use uh, a Caribbean uh, call center to catch our overflow. So if you don't hear a Tennessee twang, hang up call back. If you don't hear, hang up, call back. <laughs> That's how you're going to get them, really. But they're only there for the overflow. But you know what? They are spot on. I've had some agents try to discredit them. We listened to the calls. They did their, they did their due diligence. So I uh, still have faith in them. But you know, you can always just send an email, go about your day. And when you get back, hey, we'll have the answer for you. So here's my counterparts I mentioned. I'm the knucklehead on the far right in the middle, Justine Sawyers. Um, but this is our contact information. John will send this to you so you'll have it readily available. But again, if you, who does Rhode Island? Uh, Jeff Master and Colleen. <laughs> I don't know. I always pick on the north, uh, the north side. Um, but off the top of my head, I didn't know. Anyways, so they would know. I, I don't keep track, not my circus, not my monkeys, but hey, if you got a, a quick question about a, you know how the plan works, yes, we all can help. But anyways, this is um, the go-to people. Okay, now another reason whoa, 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 why I love, not just that these are hole pluggers, not just because these are lead generators, but hi, you get money on top of that, what, what? Yes, you know, coming from the Medicare Advantage side, Yes. <laughs> when I was like, ooh, we get bonuses for these people? Ooh. Uh, so right here, you can see if you um, submit five Medicare supplements, it doesn't matter if they're on open enrollment, underwritten, guaranteed. Um, even I'll just give you a footnote. If you have a client that qualifies for guaranteed issue and they're healthy enough, submit it as, as underwritten. Because why? Look, <laughs> bonus is more too. Plus, you know, you get paid more. Um, anyway, so yeah, GI, it's great. You know, we got to cover everybody, but you know, just don't 
put it all in one carrier, I will tell you that too. But if you submit an e-app, you're gonna get, not just the app's gonna be um, submitted correctly, and when you hit submit, especially if they're like open enrollment and it's guaranteed, I need to stop saying that word, where they're going to be accepted no matter what, um, you're gonna get a confirmation number that we got the app. That confirmation actually is their member number. So that way, if you had a client, you, you can walk away going, here's your member number. You, in you know seven to 10 business days, you'll get your, sell, you'll get your enrollment kit, blah, blah, blah. And so, yeah, you know, at least they'll feel like everything is taken care of then and there. Um, even if it goes through underwriting and you have to wait on it, we have it to where we color code so you know under the enrollment tracker what, what status the app's in. But if you enter it yourself, you can get paid more. Hello. If you fax it, do you know 13% of faxes don't come through clearly? That is from the telephone companies, not you know something we made up. So you may think you sent in 14 pages. We got garbled 14 pages. So um, yeah, so if you submit it, you see you can get paid more, but it takes five med subs to trigger the payout. Now, once you've triggered it, you can look at every ancillary product is going to be also on top and this is on top of your commission i've not heard anybody max these out so have at it so if you sold a med sup and a dental vision and hearing well you're getting 25 for that dental vision and hearing or even if you're doing the protection series final expense or if you know what you're doing nothing but ma's and you're countering it with a cancer heart attack or stroke which you know um medicare advantage is great for the treatments but where they find themselves kind of really um <laughs> high and dry is on the medications. That 5% can still be $1,300. And that's their 5% for one month supply. Now I have some um, extra slides that I've not attached here. Again, we're trying to give you the bird's eye view, but I have slides that top producers shared with me. And you know what plan that client was in when they enrolled, turns out that those medications were not covered isn't but that could be any carrier any carry it's just you never know what tomorrow brings so at least if you've got a medicare advantage client you can tack on that cancer heart attack or stroke you can tack on that hospital indemnity and that's an additional bonus money too and not just you know money yeah but you're covering your client you know wouldn't you rather them thank you than gripe at you later for not telling them about it or worst case they get a phone call telling them about it and then you lose your aep lead because you know what, oh, they told me about this and they're willing to do my Medicare Advantage for me. So at least throw that out there so they know. Um, also, as I was trying to show you the rewards your way, I had that tropical trees earlier. It's because, um, you know, travel doing these travel events, they take two years to plan. And unfortunately, COVID kind of knocked us back. So we didn't want to take away. So we just said, you know what, let's let them do where they want to go. So reward your way. Um, so you can see for the Medicare supplement, you get a production credit of one for one. So let's just say, you know, easy math. Uh, med sup was 100. You're going to get credit for 100. If you did a final expense, you can see it's two for one. So let's say the final expense was 100. You're getting credit for 200. If you got a complimentary product, let's say they wanted a really nice, you know, plan, say cancer, heart attack or stroke, $100 you get credit for 300. Now, when I first started my second week, I got to go to the rewards trip. I met a girl there that won it just from selling the dental vision and hearing, because you know why? Times three, she works smarter, not harder. So um, we try to make sure you know that we try to reward you. We know it's hard out there. We know there's competition, but hey, if you tell them you have everything, there's no reason for them to go elsewhere. Um, another thing, goodness, got so fast, I don't even know where I'm started. Oh yeah, now I remember. So with this money you get, um, we have the white glove concierge. So if they help you plan your trip, um, it was told to me that like one, one agent, he did that. And his package deal was actually equivalent to $10,000, yet his board money was 4,000. So they do have access to a lot of bang for your buck. So they can plan it for you, or if you want to just take the money, you can do that too. So um, pretty much that's it, John. Um, I, I'm done on my two, my two cents and my soapbox. Um, you can take over if you like. <laughs> Thank you, Justine. Um, we'll pull it back for a few quick slides to um, finish up. I'm looking to check and make certain there are no questions. You covered everything very well. Thank you very much. 
but a few things just to help people along. There are some things that you'll want to know about Premier Marketing and why you want to work with Aetna Senior Supplemental through us. One of the things is the electronic contracting process that we have with Sure LC, Surance Bay, whatever you want to call it. Very uh, much needed for keeping all your agent information together. It helps you do some electronic contracting for programs that don't have that, which is a whole bunch of them do now, but enables you to do a lot of contracting by clicking on just a company and can autofill a whole bunch of different things for you. So very helpful. We do offer discounted e and for qualified agents. What makes you a qualified agent? Well, you got a contract with us, um, but this is a program you own and it covers you regardless of whom you contract through. Uh, we realize there are a lot of different programs out there that, well, there's a few that we don't offer and there may be other ways of accessing them for yourselves. This can take care of that requirement for you. We do offer discounted continuing education bundles through our association with WebCE. We also make available to you a modified guarantee issue disability in income program for yourself that pays you a commission on yourself. This is just for you to enhance your own benefit structure. And much as where today's presentation is being recorded, um, we have also made available uh, the recordings on our website and on our YouTube channel as well. Those are the addresses there for you. And we do offer the Medicare Center program, which gives you a single log on for three different quoting engines, side-by-side -side comparisons, the collections of the scopes that are made available and the storing of them through different means to keep you compliant. And it does have that recording uh, capability as well that's necessary moving forward for the MA and PDP products. Now the med subs and the ancillary programs that we discussed today don't require uh, recordings, but you'll find many times that that will take you into discussion of the programs that do. So we wanna make you aware of that. Uh, it gives you also a CRM to use to make certain that you can stay on top of your business and other resources there, including sales scripts, uh, other information that can be very helpful for you. Justine talked about the different incentives that Aetna makes available for you. We have a special page on our website for those. They do help you qualify for trips that many of the carriers offer and enable you to qualify for incentive programs offered through our organization as well. We do have different lead programs that can help you, including a custom call list, uh, butted up against the new dot call system that's available to you at a discounted rate, sometimes to a discount of zero, where you don't have to pay anything for it, depending upon your contracting situation. And we do offer information about the different marketing programs for community-based programs. So the retail programs that are out there, working with faith-based organizations, providers, uh, hints and tips on how to do that and walks you through that process as well. Some carriers do offer prospects to you as well. Those are generally Medicare Advantage and PDP programs. And it's one of those quid pro quos where they're scratching your back, you're scratching theirs, you need the relationship to come into play. We do offer internet leads and direct mail support and a T65 locator that I'll talk about in just a moment, but also a recording that helps you work into your overall sales process and marketing process, uh, a referral program to make certain that you maximize the value of every lead that comes in your direction. The mail support program is based on uh, production, but it deeply discounts the programs for you, the cost of those programs. And there are two programs, one for health programs and one for final expense. So you can qualify for them twice should the production be there. We do that through a listing of preferred vendors that is brought about because we vet them. We want to make certain that their systems allow you to access your leads as quickly as possible and that the information going out is compliant for you as well. We do also have a program where you can fill in your schedule based on direct mail leads that come back that have never been touched, still fresh, uh, to fill in your system, lower out of pocket at the time, uh, and these lead costs here that are listed are as high as I've seen them. They will vary from area to area and through different parts of the year as well, and on different products too, but it's a great way to fill up your uh, schedule, your calendar, and make certain that you're seeing as many people as possible throughout the, the week. 
the internet lead programs are Facebook based. We have a system for final expense and one for Medicare as well. Uh, so those are sourced through an outside vendor, a great way for you to do some things very quickly. A uh, word of warning, if you get a lead in quickly through these internet leads, they expect a response very quickly as well. So we wanna make certain that you stay on top of them to get full value out of those leads. That T65 locator is a program that's available to you in the words of JJ Walker free um, that you download to your smartphone or your desktop. You register for it there. They verify you have a contract with us and it enables you to basically find out where these people live based on the parameters that you kick into this system. So a great way for you to fill your schedule in that fashion and you can door knock off of it for programs that allow that. Now you can door knock for the ancillary programs that Justine described for us today and on the med subs. You can't for the MA or PD pro programs. If you value that part of your contract, you wanna make certain that you use it properly. What a great tool there for you. That referral program is not only for the sales process, but for you to go back and engage your current book of business as well to garner leads in that fashion. We do all this because we want your business. We wanna make certain that you're we're referable to your friends. And we wanna make certain that it's a system that you can put into play now. You don't have to certify for MedSub and ancillary programs. Aetna has a great portfolio for you to use. We strongly recommend it be part of your personal marketing program. And as John Wayne said in the movie, The Cowboys, don't procrastinate, slap a, you don't procrastinate, you slap a piece of bacon in that biscuit, saddle up and let's ride because, hey, we want to do it fast. So you can access these benefits of these programs that Justine described for us today by calling our 1-800-365-8208 number or visiting our website and the marketers from our organization will be reaching out to you as well. I wanna thank you for the time that you spent with us today. For those of you that have worked with us in the past, I thank you for your business. We hope to deepen that relationship. For those of you that are investigating us for the future, I thank you for that opportunity. But all in all, I thank you for the investment of your time, your most precious resource, and we look forward to speaking to you again. And until we're able to do so, I wish you happy selling. Thanks so very much. We'll talk to you soon.